real-time EF is very helpful at the bedside. The fact that we get a number as we scan is very important. We don't have to do post-processing of the Epical 4, but we, rather we get the number as we go. So at the bedside, while I'm scanning, I'm thinking to myself, what would be the right correct EF? And then looking at the screen, immediately getting a feedback, getting the number, and comparing my initial thought and the automatic tool result. Also, we have learned to see that this tool is very uh, precise. When I have the green indicator and a good picture of the Epical 4, I know that the number that I'm getting is pretty close to my eyeballing assessment. Having said that, we have to remember that the tool gives me a picture of the Epical 4 chamber view. So this number is accurate as long as there is no regional wall motion abnormality and um, we emphasize that to our residents and uh, all the people who are involved in taking the pictures because this is one shot in the Epical 4 chamber view. As you can see here, we have a quality indicator that actually very, very helpful for novice operators who don't have the confidence that they have the right assessment, the right alignment. And here we have a um, like traffic -like in light indicator from red, yellow, and green that in real time helps the performer um, make the picture better. And when the novice operator sees a green light, they know that the alignment is good and they can take um, a nice assessment of the EF, of the real-time EF. So this is the way the machine gives me a real-time feedback on the quality of scanning. So if I see the red or the yellow, I will not take the picture. I will try to improve my alignment and the machine will realize that now we have a better picture. The quality of the imaging is better and I will wait for the green light, try to improve the contact, try to improve the alignment. So now I have the green light and I have a very accurate read, 60%, totally normal EF.